if we think of the, the, the objects, the cosmic objects that could strike Earth, those are the two endpoints of a continuum. The high density, iron type objects, and the low density, cometary type objects, and then you can have everything in between. So you're talking about roughly a gram per cubic centimeter, which is like a piece of ice, or five grams per cubic centimeter, which is gonna be like a piece of uh, cast iron. And then like in the middle, you've got what are the chondritic meteorites that are about three. So if you went out next to a creek and you picked up your standard piece of rock, sedimentary rock, it's gonna be about three, three and a half grams per cubic centimeter. So that's right in the middle of the spectrum. Do you know how many times the Earth has been struck by some type of a meteor or, or a comet? That's what I'm getting at. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm, 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 I'm laying it out. If you have an event like Tunguska, 100 years from now, there won't be any trace of it. The trees that were knocked down will have all been rotted away and there's new forests growing there. And we wouldn't even know about it, right? Whereas the Arizona event, Meteor Crater, that happened some 50,000 years ago. So that big hole in the ground is still there, right? And we can see it, we can count it. Well, like I said, there's about 200 craters and astrobleams that have been identified on Earth. The lower density objects are about 10 times more abundant than the iron objects. So, and then when you look at the actual craters and astrobleams, most of those are on places where there's fairly dense human habitation, Europe, Scandinavia, Canada, the US, more and more of them are being found in Russia. Mm -hmm. But my point, and this is the takeaway, is that the events like Tunguska that don't leave a lasting impression are way more abundant than the ones that dig holes in the ground. So if you're just counting holes in the ground or scars in the surface of the earth itself, you're gonna be undercounting. That's my point.